And today on So Good, we're going to be making candy apples. Candy apples, yes. We decided to do a Halloween show, well, because it's October, and we were talking about it, and we're like, you know, we don't have anything that's, like, festive or, or holiday-ish, I guess you would say. So in uh, searching for what we wanted to do, we knew we wanted to make something sweet, obviously. So now, we've been messing with this all day because we've never made caramel before. And I, Go ahead. It turned out. It did. So it turned good. out really good, but man, it terrified me having that stuff boil. So we did a practice batch because we didn't want to ruin it. Mess it all up here for you guys. It turned out good. So you know, really yeah, we're getting our feet wet with the uh, in the sweets department. So a few of the things that we have on our table right now, obviously, are Granny Smith apples. Uh, we bought craft sticks. Yeah, here, Abby. We have candy to roll the caramel apples candy in. Candy to roll and the caramel. And we also have bacon. And I said, I said to Abby, I said, bacon would be no, really good. No, I brought something up and then you were like, bacon. That was my idea. That was my Why? idea. Mine. Mine. Anyway, so we're going to roll a few of these in bacon and I'm super excited about that. But what else is in there? What do we... We have some chocolate chips, just some normal milk chocolate chips. Peanut buttery things. Peanut butter cups. And what else is that? And then we have some toffee. Toffee, crushed toffee, yes. I really like these and this. And we don't really have a plan for what we're gonna do with them, except you can't um, them in baggies. I like these baggies. Okay, I guess she has a plan for what we're gonna do with them. Um, so we're gonna get all of our ingredients out, talk about that, and we're gonna start boiling this caramel. So here are all of our ingredients. We have sugar, brown sugar, corn syrup, evaporated milk heavy whipping cream, butter, and vanilla. Lots of butter, yum, yum, yum. And that's pure vanilla extract. Yeah, that was hard for me to buy. I had to close so my expensive. eyes, just throw it in the car. Six dollars for, for a little tiny thing. Um, I wanna to talk to you about this pot, so, and the candy thermometer. Um, when I was looking for a recipe for caramel, because we were originally thinking about, okay, how do we do caramel apples? Um, yeah, you know, when I was a kid, we used to unwrap them and melt them in the pot and then dip our apples in them. That was a great idea, but we were talking about it. And we we're like, hey, this is a cooking show, <laughs> you know? This is not unwrap the candy and melt it show. One of the things that you'll absolutely need is a candy thermometer. Um, this was only 10 bucks. Uh, they're easy to find, so I went out and bought one of these. Um, and also, this, this process does take about 30 to 40 minutes to get the caramel, you know, while. where you want it. It's worth it. You have so many cavities. <laughs> so I love it's worth it then. <laughs> well, let's get this going. Everything is now stirred into our pot and it sort of looks like gravy and we have just started it off at medium heat and I have incorporated all of the ingredients but the vanilla extract because we're going to add that at the end once we take it off the heat and we it needs to be stirred every once in a while so we just let it like go for a little and stir and then go like that and that's about it for now and then we'll let you know when we change the heat and yeah our caramel right now is about 180 degrees it needs to get up to between 240 and 250 to be where we need it uh it's on about medium heat right now and we're just kind of constantly stirring it it's Abby's right, it looks like gravy. Um, smells really buttery and everything though. So, yeah, we're probably looking at about 30 minutes for this whole process. Cringing terror, such sudden shock. We just hit 240, so or we're just under it. I'm going to let it go for a couple minutes, like maybe three minutes. It's nice and thick and it smells so buttery in here. But it's 
it's essentially done. This makes a lot of caramel, too. Yeah, it does. Alright, I just turned the heat off. This is the cool part. The sizzle of the vanilla. I'm pretty sure the vanilla also helps it turn that up. Yeah, I think it, it, it definitely darkens it. So we're good because now we're almost at 250 with the burner off and you can see that the caramel is getting darker. Alright, we are going to transfer that into a smaller pan and let it cool. Dun, 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 dun. Look at all that caramel. There's like a lot of caramel. There's like a ridiculous amount of caramel in here. So uh, we've let it cool for like four minutes. No, it's been closer to ten. So what, what now? What? You just put cooking spray on a plate. I'm cooking spray in a plate. So hopefully that's gonna work out. Hopefully this is not too hot. And, and now we get to dip. Let's have some fun. I'm I'm starting with the bacon. FYI. Well, this was fun. Um, we did learn a few things. Uh, you gotta heat up the caramel every once in a while because you'll start to see that it's not sticking to the apples properly. So I just threw it on back onto the to the stove and stirred it around a little bit. So um, you wanna talk about some of these? Okay, so this one. Oh my God. I just was like, <laughs> you know, let's just put everything on it. Bacon, peanut butter, candy, chocolate, and like, all the chocolate melted, so that's gonna be delicious. And this one, I just put bacon on it, the left the rest of the bacon. This one, I ran I out of the caramel. The baconator. Yeah, oh. he's not even gonna eat it or let me eat it. <laughs> and this one turned out really good. Yeah. Did I? I did this one. The. Um, this one turned out. Coconut. Okay. Looked fantastic. This one turned out really bad. That's okay. This one turned out pretty okay. This one okay. turned out great. Alright, we don't need to critique you each and every one. You said everyone. Which ones? What, what's it going to be? I'm going to eat my crazy one. You want to split this bacon one? Does yeah, but say? I want to eat one with chocolate first. Okay. I want one for me. Okay, let's do Cheers. this. The cavities and clog guard. I don't even know how to get around this. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Abby, this is so good. <laughs> oh, did you just spit something out? No, it fell from my cheek. <laughs> mm. That was so good. So good. So good. Mm. I swear I want a fraternity test. 